What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 20. What did I say? 8! 28 of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue and Red Rescue Team with myself and with Neighbor. Hello! Last time we finished up the story, as you can see on yeah, Neighbor's right. side, we oh, have nice. Rayquaza as one of our uh, helpers. Helpers. Um, today we're going to be starting the post game. As we said in the last episode, we are playing everything in the game. Don't know exactly how it's going to work right now. We might do like one dungeon per episode. I really don't know. If you wind up enjoying today's episode, you already know what to do. Make sure you check out Neighbor. His information is in the description below. And I want to know how many adventures you've had. Under continue. It's just a 63. Okay, so I've done three more. Don't I have more Dungeon points? Runs. Yeah, that's what All right, I was let's wondering. Continue. That's what I was wondering. Due to Domino and TJ's heroic actions, the falling star was destroyed. Star. And peace returned to the world of Pokemon. That's why it was the star. Yeah. But th that did not put an end to the natural calamities. Natural disasters still occurred, but much less often. Needless to say, Domination's rescue activities continued as if nothing had changed. Several mornings later... I haven't heard this in too long. Since Saturday. Just yeah. Good morning, Domin neighbor. Did you just wake up? I went by the pub for post office Bummer. earlier. The bulletin board was still covered with rescue jobs. Even though it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need our help. Domino, Domin neighbor, sorry. Let's keep on doing our best as always. No, I thought that because we've we did that that everything was good. And we were just done. You'd think that. Oh god. <laughs> that sounded right to me. <laughs> oh hi Caterpie and, and Oh hi Caterpie and Metapod. What's the matter? It's Snubble! There's something weird going on! Snubble is weird? Weird how? He looks completely different. Is that a robot? Yeah, <laughs> a robot Metapod? I guess. Dominator, let's go to the square. I wonder what happened. Yeah, imagine that a Metapod is rigid and stiff. Hold on, I'm reaching through the camera. <laughs> Hi, Alakazam. Oh my god! Hi, Alakazam. Have you seen Snubble? I heard something strange happen to him. Okay, this is just ignorance. Like, <clears throat> Hey, boss, I'm Snubble. W what? You're Snubble? But you don't look anything like the way you did before. That seems kind of racist. I mean, I don't really understand either, boss. I went into the cave there, and all of a sudden... What cave? It appeared without me noticing. See? Right there. there's oh my gosh, there's entrance. stairs! Yeah. <laughs> so, you went in there? Yeah! Of course, boss, and I came out looking like this, see? Snubble underwent evolution. He evolved. Whoa! Evolution? Evolved? Those sound like the same words. Why don't you repeat them? Pokemon, upon satisfying certain conditions, may evolve. When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, its appearance changes. Oh, wow! Your own appearance, that can change? I suspect that cave is where evolution can take place. This is merely a guess. Clearly it didn't happen to me. I was born in Alakazam. Perhaps evolution could not take place before because the world's balance was askew. However, now that the star has been destroyed, the world's balance has been restored. And perhaps that cave became unsealed. Oh, it made a bottom off! Oh, if I evolved, I would become like Metapod! I wish. I want to be a Butterfree quickly. You only gotta be level 10, bud. <laughs> I'm sure you're there. <clears throat> Wait a second! I don't know if I like this or not, see? My cute little face turned it all craggy. Your face was never cute. Evolution is not a bad thing. Appearance isn't the only thing that changes through evolution. One's power and abilities may be enhanced, for instance. Oh, really? I, I might be stronger? Yeah, but probably not. Oh, yeah, I forgot that was me. <laughs> it's not <all laughs> you. You do. Go, go for it. That makes me want to evolve even more. I wish I could be Butterfree soon. Can we evolve if we go into that cave? Yes. 
but it would depend on the conditions. You might be too weak. No, my neighbor. Let's go to the cave if we're ready to evolve. Oh, I'm ready. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not playing S any games. Step one. Entrance is too narrow. There's only room for one. Come yeah, you alone. Can. So. This is where we learn that we can leave our, oh. Um, we're now taught that we can disband the crew. Sorry, Olive. This is Metacham. Uh, what do I do? Uh, pick anyone, leave. Go to where you need to be. Volcano. Maybe that's not how I do this. Uh, let's do friend. Nope, let's. Nope, let's go back. Apologies to anyone who knows exactly what to do. And I'm sure there's some people watching that that know exactly what to do. Um. Um, I have a feeling that if we just talk to Alakazam, he'll probably tell us. Oh, why is Medicham chilling here? Don't get locked in story. Apparently, Lombre almost drowned in the sea. He lives in water. Interesting. Alright, let's try talking to Alakazam. Oh! Oh, here we go, wish cash. Yeah, he said come along, but he didn't tell me how to come along. Which, which probably isn't that difficult. I'm sure in the context of this universe, they're like, um, just don't have other people, idiot. Just walk down, what, what do you? All right, well, while you're trying to figure it out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of stuff. All right, I have so many items. So oh, many gummies. So I know that this is the point where... I got Ice Beam. I forgot I got Ice Beam. So I could say join team to Izzy and I could say stand by. Boom. I know at this point I should be able to make other people the party leader. Because that way, that's the only way we'd be able to evolve our secondary. First evolution point. possible. Wait. Friend area overgrown forest. Let me see if... Yeah, I went to the scorching. But you went to the one you're supposed to? Yeah, yeah. Overgrown forest. Yeah, there's not much... Goodness. You want to pause and find out? You can find out. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, like... So much trouble. How to enter evolution cave alone. It was one of the suggestions. I feel like it's not good that, that we're struggling. This isn't a part we're supposed to struggle at. Simply return to your rescue team base after your failed attempt to enter the cave. Well, I'm in the rescue team base. I don't think I actually ever did. I did. Uh... Okay, let's uh, let's try to go to a dungeon real quick. You wanna head off to a dungeon real fast? Sure. All right, so we're let's gonna head off to. Uh, I wanna go to Mount Steel. Okay. You're just going to a dungeon, period. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to a dungeon real quick. All right. In that case, uh, I'm going to Tiny Woods. Oh. Oh yeah, Dominator. Wait a second. There's something I wanted to talk over with you before we go to a dungeon. Oh, this is where they say. Yeah, you know we always go to dungeons mm -hmm. together, Dominator. But I think we'll be seeing all sorts of different dungeons from now on. I think some of them will be tough even for us. So I have an idea. Instead of us running things all the time, we should let the team as a whole do it. How about we change things so we can pick up the leader and so we can pick the leader and members to go into dungeons? That might mean we won't be going to rescues to certain dungeons, but that will let us handle rescues better by having more Pokemon types available. 
You like the idea? Dominator, you think it'd be good to freely choose leaders? Yeah, sure. Yep, that's right. I thought you'd agree, Dominator. Okay, new rule. You can now freely pick the Pokemon that are going into dungeons. I think this is how we should pick the leader of a team going into a dungeon. In its friend area, blah, 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 blah. I know how to do all this. One more thing. We should make it so you could team leader go alone. Ooh. Why would a team... Why would you want to go alone? I'm going alone. Wait, how did you go alone? Did you go drop them off? Uh, no. Just go into the menu. Uh, team. TJ, stand by. Boom. Get out of here, TJ! Now, real quick... I do want to look at my stats. Here are my stats. Okay, so 48 Ooh, and everything break. but attack. Oh god, I forgot. I, I carried all my money. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> 50, 48, 48, 48, 90 HP. I'm going to look at mine real quick. Team. Summary. 53, so 45, good. 55, 46. Voice emanates from Ye who seek awakening, this is Luminous Cave. Do ye seek a new evolution? Evolve. Will ye give an item for evolution? No. Ye who seek awakening, let us begin. Neighbor is undergoing changes. Neighbor's appearance changed. It evolved from Totodile to Croconaw. Do, 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 do. You shall return if evolution is what ye seek. Oh, look at them glasses I have on. Or do I have blue eyes? Is that glasses or is that blue eyes? Blue eyes, hello. Let me tell you, my stats are identical. Which so, means what? Uh, you will never see a, uh, you will never see a Kadabra or Alakazam Wait, on why? my team. So it's just for fun? It said you may experience. Maybe they made it so that the starters don't uh, change their... Um, stats because they give you the strongest stats in the to begin with. Really looking really strong. I feel like that might be what it is. They didn't want you to struggle with baby Pokemon. Oh, where is uh? Oh, there's all of. All right. Well, let's take care of this. Oh. Uh, why did it just tell me to come alone? Okay, that's why. I just left myself! Yep. Evolve! No! Oof. I wonder if Izzy can evolve. I don't think Izzy's high enough level. What level is Izzy? Like 20-something. I think I need to be 33. 31. I don't think it's that I think it's high. level 30. I'm pretty sure it's like in the third. I still feel like carrying these two around most of the time. Yeah. Probably. Look at how not green I am. Look at this. That is like really not green. That's, That's like, like It's a very washed out yeah. green. It's like you've had those jeans for a couple of years. All right. I need you to take over. Join. Make leader. Okay. All right. Combuskin already looked kind of... Wonky. Not the best skin has ever looked. <laughs> Alright, are you ready to head off? No, I gotta not let this chicken be the leader. Well, yeah, besides that. <laughs> I also want to see if Izzy can... Or... Yes, do that, do that, do that. Alright, I'm gonna do what I can around here. Store... Izzy's Ooh. level 26. Okay, I don't think that's high enough. I don't think so. I, th I feel like it's like 27. Ooh, why are these guys here? Our team Rumble Rock is famous for savagery. We're, we're actually only normal rank. It's an embarrassment. <laughs> team Hydro is bronze rank. We're silver. We are big chilling in silver. I feel like we're about to hit gold. We are, I, I, I'd imagine oh, that's a new thousand. friend. There's new friend areas. Gotta make sure we get that. This episode is just all about taking care of loose ends, apparently. You cannot evolve yet. You have not high enough level. Okay. Yes. Wait, what? 
Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. Alright, hold on. Which is the one that I needed to get? Uh, I would know it if I saw it. Hold on, it's none of those. Hold on. It's dark something or other. Jasmine, what are you doing here? Wait. Oh. Uh, for some reason, my controls got all. Oh. I, <laughs> I literally moved my hand to the left by one, and I was like, why can't I move right? It's because I'm not hitting the right buttons. There's no. I don't see. Oh, I guess I just haven't unlocked it yet. Darkness Ridge. Mm. All right, I'm gonna come take a look at this board here. Um, it looks like we're just kind of doing our own thing right now. I don't see. I have this B mission that I'll probably do just because it's a B mission. Or wait, apparently I have a bunch of jobs. Okay, I'm definitely going to the Great Canyon because I have like. Oh my god, that's so many. That is... Seven Great Canyon missions. Oh, but I have to give up these... I'm not, actually, you know what? I'm not going to be giving this person a red gummy. I'm eating all my red gummy. True. Croconaw looks so powerful. For a level. Pretty sure I have all the 32. Alright, so what do I need here? I need to deliver a brown gummy. I don't think I have a brown gummy. I'm not a fighter. That totally sounds like a... That totally sounds like it. This man's talking about Lucario. Lucario is a generation four Pokemon. Ooh. Let me see if I have a brown gun. I don't believe it. I have stuff from Tiny Woods. Ah, Mount Steel and what Tiny do, what, Woods. What do you have in your already accepted stuff? Uh, Mount Blaze, Frosty Forest, Mount Freeze, Magma Cavern, Magma Cavern. Two Magma Caverns, two Uproar Forests. I think there's another Magma Forest. I don't have a brown gummy. <laughs> Job list. Well, I know where I'm going. I only have to make it to the ele to the twelfth floor of the Great Canyon. I think I'm gonna have to do my mount. Find my cover. This one's an escort mission. Fun. Find some. 12th floor, that's 14th floor. I don't think I have any revive receipts. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any revive receipts either. We 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 got blown away last time. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Two episodes ago was the one that was... Do you ever see Joycey? Do you want to buy that? What does that do? Fair candy. Oh. Don't use it yet, though. Because, do you want me to spoil a future dungeon that is a really cool mechanic? Sure. So, there is a future dungeon, I can't remember what it's called, uh, that reduces your level to 1 when you enter it, and you plow through, I think it's a 99 floor dungeon. You just go through it, starting at level 1, uh, and it ramps up the difficulty as you go along. Um, but I think you can still bring your items with you, so I think you can bring joy seeds in and like power level yourself. I could be wrong. All right, since mine is a little more involved, I'm going to go ahead and head off to... Yeah. I got to get to the 12th floor of the Great Canyon. Actually, that's not... I didn't realize the Great Canyon was this far back. I'm going to blow through this. Probably. But I'm going to go ahead and go anyway. I guess now we'll be doing a lot more stuff kind of on our own, for, for now at least. Salamence joined your rescue team. Please?
All right, I'm just gonna, I guess I'll go through this kind of quick. Or should I, should we be exploring? Uh, I mean, what is there to explore? You're right. Tactics. Let's go together, please. Tactics. I had this all switched up for, uh... All right. All right. I'm going. What floors do I have to make it to? I don't remember. Others. Mission objectives. Hey, did we have some question of the day? I have a mission Ooh. on floor 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. We did have a question of the day. So my my idea for a question of the day was uh, what is a hobby that you had or I guess still have that uh, you can't quit no matter how hard you try? What's a hobby you can't get away from? Mm -hmm. And I definitely have my fair share of those. Here, as you said, was just card games in general. <laughs> um, this is like, I'll cycle through a few, but I'll always come back to pretty much all of the card games I've ever touched. I just, I love card games. Can't stop. Can't stop. I just did them. 226 damage. Kind of wild. I decided to explore just a little bit because I don't have a brown gummy. I'm kind of hoping that in my exploration I will find a brown gummy. And I mean, I'm okoing everything anyway. But watch the Salamence get killed and ruin everything. That'd be good. I guess I would rather... I would rather miss out on the brown gummy mission than have Salamence die. So I'm probably not gonna go slow. I'll probably try to go... I gotta rush. Gotta rush? Did gotta you rush accept your up. missions? Okay. I did. I gotta catch up. I'm on mean, the third floor. I have time. But I think I have a much harder dungeon. Oh, yeah. Magma Cavern. I have a Nido King chilling with me. No! Salamence! Alright. He's on his own. Wait. I can get him. No, he's circling. No, he's not circling. I have to find somebody on floor 12. Rillum took one damage. Your Salamence probably has at least 68. 40. 40? Nita King has 65. Right. Wait, does that mean I lose all my items as well? I don't know if that's how that works. I don't think you ever lose all of them. I think it's like you lose a good bit. Um, but I... But I don't know if that's how that works for failing. Yep, that's how it works. That's wild! Oh my gosh! At least it was early. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why that uh -huh. happened, though. I don't understand why that happened at all. That, that, I don't know. That was, that was a little... I don't know. I, I didn't much like that. The Salamence just randomly was like, I'm gonna walk away. Bye. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I feel like that happens more often than you would you expect. You know what's lucky though? I remembered to drop all my money off. That's good. You had a lot of money chilling. I had 20,000. I don't have a lot of money left. I just bought Brick Break. Bought that to Olive. Because gonna be a powerful blaze skin one day. I think I'm already fighting type, right? I think I definitely am already fighting type. So, new stab. Oh no. Need a special band. Another special band. You know what I'm curious about? Power band. I don't think I have the required friend area, even if it was possible. I was wondering if we could now recruit evolved Pokemon. Because I would love to have a Nina King. Uh, but I can't even recruit the Sandshrews. I think that I don't have the right friend. I really hate that you can't see stuff. Like, you can't see what's in your box when mm -hmm. you're... I don't know. Kinda... 
It makes this much more difficult than I think it needs. I just did 278 damage. This is, it's funny because I was like, I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. This will be easy. <laughs> and then Salamence walks away for no apparent reason. All right, back to the Great Canyon I go. Hey, at least I caught up. Item, special ban, give, not to me. Other special ban, give to EJ. And the power band give to Brooke. So what's your your hobby you can't get away from? It's for me with card games, I feel like I have played like a billion card games and I cycle through which ones I get back into. And right now I haven't technically gotten back into Yu-Gi-Oh, but I've been watching a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content when right. I've been playing. Um Uh, what would mine be? Hmm. I don't know. All the stuff that I do, I pretty much... Consistent with? Okay with doing. <laughs> um. Like, I haven't tried to quit anything, yeah. really. Ooh, Magnemite leveled up. This is, this is, we hit level 27. I think I have to be level 30. I guess it's somewhere from 28 to 30. That's the range. So annoyed. That last cave. Because you can't even, like, set their tactics. No. They just do whatever the heck they want to. I think they're set to follow you, naturally, but sometimes that just doesn't happen. Oh, goodness. I'm really glad that that's a Pokemon. Way to move. What habit? Hobby. Not habit. Very different. What hobby? I don't have a clue. Collecting amiibo? You tried to stop and now they release new amiibo and you're just done. I guess not, considering that I don't really do anything except the, the Smash and Zelda amiibos. There's still a few I need to get to finish that list, but... Izzy, why would you do that? He just decided, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and walk on this magma now does that hurt him well he, he has sustained a burn <laughs> but he's floating yep he doesn't have levitate though floating okay this can i okay never mind next down get you healed up Ninth floor. I think I need the twelfth floor to get um, the first thing. Then on the fourteenth floor is when I score them. Yeah, these uh, these three grass types decided to to gang up on me and leech seed me and paralyze me. So I just mashed Ember, and as soon as the paralysis ended. I'm so glad that I have strong team members. These escort missions are pretty, pretty crazy. Oh. Breloom, don't you dare. Yes, thank you. That is exactly what I wanted you to do. Um, I was about to say the exact same thing. I, uh, Bro, that's crazy. All of just brick break to Graveler. I've, I've just now realized that changing leaders in this game is still, like, archaic. Um, in later installments, you're able to, mid-dungeon, just choose who's the leader. Hmm. Swap about. Why would you want to do that? Oh! 
maybe you run out of moves and you pick a new leader to... Or you pick who the leader is to deal with the specific situation better. Uh, but that's not a thing you can do in the... Iteration. Do you remember that I have two flamethrowers? I do remember that. I think I just did 300 something damage. I think it's crazy that in this game, you are capable of knowing the same move. Okay, wait, there's something to do on this floor. Alright, so what am I doing on this floor? Mission objectives, rescue Nidoran. Oh that shoot, freak freak is so strong. what if I have a monster house with this Salamence? It's over. That would be really rough. Um... Yeah, that would be really unfortunate. I feel like they... They definitely... They definitely could. I did 139 damage. Big is powerful. Found Thief! That's just a hint. I'm just, I'm just waiting. Every room that I walk into now, I'm just like, all right, this is the monster house. All right, this is the monster house. Don't, don't remind me. They're looming around every corner. Your monster house was. <laughs> you got teleported into it. I feel like that was just so not nice. Oh. Game devs were like, this wouldn't this be funny? All right, cool. On to the next. No. I'd like to leave. No. Continue. Yes. Why does it switch? That's so tight. If I click no, the answer is no. I don't want to leave. Yes, I'm sure. You doing okay over there? Yeah, it was really interesting. Um, that Izzy missed Thunder Wave every time, which in this game, I don't know. I guess its accuracy is not perfect. Uh, but its accuracy in the main series games did not change until Gen 7. Anyway, I've, I've missed Thunder Wave every time, but then hit the Sonic Boom. <laughs> well, Sonic Boom, doesn't Sonic Boom never miss? It has a 90% accuracy. Oh, really? Yeah. You sure? I am 100% positive. Uh, you know the, the challenge run I was telling you about me doing? Uh-huh. Uh, Sonic Boom was what I was using until I got tri attack. Stick good. Octite. Magneton. Voltoy. Oh, I don't have a brown gummy. I'm sorry, Voltoy. I know, I know you waited here just for me to bring that brown gummy. Izzy, why would you do that? I just went underground. Izzy had, all Izzy had to do was not move. Izzy was like, oh, look. There's some fire I can step on. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Step on some fire. Alright. What could go wrong? I am on a destination floor. Oh god. That looks so scary. Hey, you scary face, that's so... You can't, you can't write that out any better. <coughs> Flesh. I'm dying. I'm dying. Um. That I'm getting hungry. No, why would you walk down the- I can't do anything! Look! This ball toy ran away! <laughs> this the one you're trying to save? Yes! Okay, there. I had to- I had to pass some turns so he would- That was crazy! Mine trapped itself in a corner. No. Yes. Okay, here we go. What hobby? I'm still trying to figure out what, <laughs> what, what hobbies, what hobbies I do. I mean, if you look at this wall right here, you can see all of these amiibos. Reach another destination floor. Another group of area doves. All right. Who is this reviver seat, please? I see. Oh wait, am I only? Pick it up. 
Oh, I forgot that I had to turn off Thunderbolt and Shockwave because of the annoying Rhydon's. That one done. I'm gonna eat an Oran Berry to fill up my... Fill up my tummy. Were there Rhydon's in the Sky Pillar? Or in the Sky, wherever it was? If not, I think I did all of that dungeon with, oh, with I, Izzy's electric okay, booster. Okay, hold on. And look at how useful they are! Oh, I'm a big dummy. I think I did all of the sky with uh -huh. my electric moves turned off. Yeah, it was definitely this dungeon that I turned them off in too. Because here's the right on. That is crazy. I I had those moves turned off for so many dungeons. Don't walk away from me. Game is game does not like. Alright, yep. looking for whatever I'm supposed to be fighting Thanks. against. Oh no! You bring an apple? Did you win? I won. Oh! I thought you lost. I saw two Rhydons on the screen and I, the Nido Queen spawned right next to me. I said, peace. Bye. What's up with this? What? This, this, floor, this floor design doesn't actually exist. <laughs> that is wild. Oh, I thought somebody left. Who are you looking for? I don't know. You're just looking for the person to turn Salamence into? Uh, I don't or... remember what's on this floor. Probably Shaq. What's happening? He's using counter. Oh, he's using Endure. I was like, if he was, if he was using counter, I would have been dead a long time ago. There's something to do on this floor. Other mission objectives and floor rescue polybag. See? That means there's still the possibility of a fun house. Oh! Where is it? Could be this. I mean, that's the last possible area that it could be. Uh, unless it's up. He's a wanderer. He's wandering through the floor. Hmm. Is there anything up here? Why is this taking so long? This would be a great time to have the x-ray specs. Actually, I'm not sure that the X-ray specs tell you where the. Hey, who am I looking for? Polywag. It could be in the middle of the water. Bit of a polywag roaming the water. Wait, was that him? Did I just see him? Uh. Wait. Uh, I saw something. All right, hold on, hold on. We're gonna find this. Him and say that probably wasn't him that I saw up here. Definitely does not appear to be. Um, I'll find him eventually. Do you, do you have a special band? Better give me some. Max elixir. Getting hungry. Are you all out of your fire moves? No. I just don't know what I'm gonna eventually run into that I might. That's fair. And I mean, they're not doing any. They're, they're not doing any damage to me. Okay, this is annoying. It's definitely roaming the water somewhere. <laughs> Look at all this water. Uh, especially when you have, like, Salamence with you, right? Now. Yes. But I, like, have to still pay. Look at this water. Look at this water right here. Okay, you know it's not in that pub. Right, and then go up. Well. Not in that pub. 
just trying to figure out where there's a big expanse of water like I've already been here several times yeah Polywag! Have you already found Polywag on this floor? There's no way. Have you have you already found Polywag on this There's floor? There's no way. It doesn't tell you. Floor 9, rescue Polywag. I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure I have. No, 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 that was it. I saw something right here. There's no other Pokemon in this dungeon that can walk on the water. Oh, that's... He's right there! There's... I can't get to him! Gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> okay, we're good. Okay, and Salamence is protected. Oh, no! <laughs> what? So something stirring means you butt on the floor I'm taking too, too long. long! Yeah. I don't know exactly if it kicks you out and you fail if you don't spend... You don't do it quick enough? Um, but I think that's the case. So if the polywag doesn't come near you quick enough... Whoop! Just wasted all that time! Gosh darn it! That's so annoying! I feel like there's definitely more than one warning, like it's something stirring and then... Maybe another warning? But I don't remember exactly how that mechanic works. Uh, it's not often that I run into Alright, hold on, let me, let me, let me look. Rescue Weedle? Okay, this one... Weedle's gonna be on the floor. This one should be doable. That's kind of wild. If only you were a water Pokemon. Is Rage? How's that? Rock grows to level 29. Or Brook. 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 Guy. Right, I'm trying to. Ooh, there's the brown gummy. Orange gummy. That's for. Fighting? Or ground? The two. I'll look up what level Magneton evolves. Well, Magneton evolves at whatever level. You're right. This has to be in the. in Mount Cornet. Or wherever. The regional version of Mount. Bass Pony Canyon. Ooh, Bass Pony Canyon. That's a sounds like it's from a really good game. Level thirty. Okay. Level thirty. All right, I'm trying to finish this, but again, where is where where is Weedle? Now, for the record, if you want to, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, if you want someone to join you, you actually have to go to both of the areas. Salamence, no. Okay, he just went in a circle. He went in a loop. This is the best place to get lost. Have you not found the Weedle? No. Where could he possibly be? That you have not been. He's roaming. I don't roam that far. He's right. roaming so okay good. He wasn't there the first time. Alright. Almost there. No, would not like to leave. Yes, I would like to continue. Forgot the meta is to hold the speed up button, not the not the run button. Reached another destination for Can this destination floor be here? Can we, like... We need help, are you struggling? You know what I'm scared of? What? Like a water type coming out of the middle of the water and attacking Salamence. I don't think that there are any in this dungeon, based on what we've seen. Okay, escort to Wurmple. This should be... Is this the floor?
Wurmple is, look at this, look at my screen. Wurmple is being protected by a sleeping Tauros. You can't make that up. As it turns out, a thousand is not where you get gold. Oh yeah? I know, but No, I'm... I would not like to leave now. Yes, continue with my adventure. Grab that money real quick. Final floor! There's stairs. Give me a monster house. I mean, in this one, you don't even need stairs. You can just dip. Right. I'm. I'm. You know what? I'm ready. Freaking. Just give me a monster house. I don't. Have I? Oh, what's Beldum doing here? I guess I'm supposed to be rescuing this Beldum that's right in front of me. Probably. <laughs> okay. Finally. Yes. Yes. Dip. Skip, flip, I'm out. Alright. There's one. How many did you do? Six? Seven? Oh, here's Reviver Seeds. There's Reviver two. Seeds. I do better. There's three. Four. And here's five. I think I only did five. That's right, you definitely didn't get all of them. There was a... You said I should get some rest. Yes, I want to save, and that's where... You might want to talk to Lombre real quick, actually. Because remember how we talked to Manicham, and Manicham said, Ha, isn't it funny how Lombre was... About to drown? We didn't, uh, we didn't actually. I did. <laughs> that long right here. Oh, I'm not gonna really. Oh, long time no see. You are well. You see, I have heard about Lombre's tail. It is too funny. I heard that Lombre almost drowned at sea. Oh, but that Lombre he lives in water. How very pathetic. <laughs> you should talk to Lombre now. I'll have to read the first bits off of your screen. Duh, what's that? Oh, you mean what happened at sea? I wasn't drowning. Sheesh, they're making up stories about me. Want to know what really happened? Sure. See, I went out to the sea to frolic a while back. You know, I was trying that dive thing. So I was having fun going out the water, and I got washed out to sea a bit. All of a sudden, these wicked clouds rolled in, and before I knew it, there was a full-blown storm raging. There's more! A dungeon appeared in the sea. I was shocked with us. I got out of there fast. But who'd have guessed it? A dungeon in the stormy sea? Huh? You want to know more about the dungeon of the sea? I've amoosed it out of there, so I can't tell you much. That's a great word, I've amoosed it. I know, maybe Whiskash will do something. Yeah, that'd be best. Go talk to Whiskash. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. We'll probably do that in the next episode. Anyway, today was wild and an extremely long episode, but if you had fun, you know what to do. Make sure you check out Neighbor Stuff, who's in the description. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.